All right, I'm from Speculative Theory. I'm from uh, Los Angeles, and we're going to show you a little bit about kind of some of the fun things that we're up to. Um, I'm going to talk super briefly about what storytelling is in VR. This is something that has been talked about quite a bit. Uh, we're still kind of grasping what that is, and we're learning about it. I won't talk about that too much. My talk will be more about the technology behind it, but I will point out that I love to tell the story that you know the first TV show is what is just a recorded radio show. So all these mediums kind of copy the one before it, and we're learning how to tell stories in virtual reality. And I just draw the quick conclusion that it's a big difference between watching a screen and all of a sudden literally being in a scene and being one of the characters, and how we're going to learn to deal with that, and how we're going to build the technology and tell those stories is going to be interesting. And that's kind of some of the things that we're exploring. So what we, our first project that we've kind of conceived here is called Project Presence. Uh, so basically, uh, sorry, perspective. So basically your experience of perspective. So imagine you're in a virtual reality environment and you're allowed to see from a different person's perspective a series of events happen. So when you can do that, you can really learn what it's like to gain a different perspective from a different person's perspective. So that's the overall goal there, is to do a series of short narratives that kind of lets you do that. The first couple we're working with Rose, who's fantastic at kind of telling stories in the virtual reality environment. So the ideal end goal here would just be a series of short films. The first couple are going to be uh, Sundance projects. So let's see if I can play this for you. So one of the tools we kind of learned to kind of figure out how to do this was, this is one of my favorite films, but we um, actually reenacted this scene. So what would it be like you're actually in here, you're kind of witnessing this happen? No, no, that's quite all right, dear. Your father and I were just discussing his day at work. Why don't you tell our daughter about it, honey? Janie, today I quit my job. <laughs> and then I told my boss. I won't play the whole thing as a lot of, <laughs> lot, of, lot, of, lot of profanity in there, as you can imagine. But so now here, what do we what do we happen if we're actually there? Like we're sitting down and you're watching this happen, and this is kind of this isn't designed to be something that we'll sell or promote or show, but it's just getting a feel for so we're going to write a story where you're sitting and you are a character. How do you interact with those characters and how does it make you behave? So I think some of you tried this in LA, but I basically reenacted each role and then face captured myself and then re-recorded the audio and now you're in the scene and you can look back and that's a lot of work but you can look back now and we can learn like whoa when someone talks to you and you interact with them uh, what happens so the real challenge here is how do we do this so um, there's a lot of systems for doing that and what we're kind of doing is building a pipeline to put all these systems together in one place so we can really tell an interesting story and one of the things of course we can film in 3d uh, there's lots of ways to do that you can place a bunch of cameras around a sphere, obviously, and shoot a bunch of panoramas and put them back together. But one thing we're noticing is it gets very challenging when things are extremely close to you in that strategy. So idea is we're putting a pipeline together using gaming engines and using other types of technology so that we can do things like interact with objects but also film things. And, and those kind of combinations of the pipeline are what we're building. Um, one of the things we're using is a lot, quite a bit of photogrammetry. So you can kind of see here, I won't say whose kitchen this is, but um, yeah, this looks like, a bad, looks like a bad photo of a kitchen, but this is actually a photogrammic capture of that kitchen. So the idea is that when things are really far from you, we can get away with a lot, so we can shoot panoramas and do flat images, but as we get closer, we need technologies that capture models and things like this, so we can do a photogrammetry solution where we're moving around, and then when we get really close to something, that's literally a game engine. If you want to touch something and you want head tracking and look down, so the general goal there is to put all those things together and be able to make this really immersive storytelling environment. So that's what we're up to is building those tools and learning how to tell stories about that. Um, shooting in 3D is something we've been doing in Hollywood for a long time. We have a really good system for that and Jeff will answer any detailed questions about that. But essentially you have a couple cameras side by side, you shoot in right eye, left eye. And there's some really interesting things to learn and discover about this, but when you want to have real characters in your film, are you going to game engine those? Are you going to shoot those live action? Are you going to, how are you going to put those in there? Uh, we can create fantastic photo real characters. We've done it at ILM when I worked there for years, but on a budget, it's a very time consuming undertaking. So can we shoot a simple stereo camera, uh, cut that out in the green screen, put it in a scene and interact with it and have it triggered by where you're looking or different timings of that? There's some technical things to be learned there that we're kind of figuring out. And actually, we have a couple demos that we shot that will show you what it's like to kind of be in a scene with a few actors. Um, you also end up interesting on the filming side of this is you end up with the kind of a Who Framed Roger Rabbit scenario. So 
if you're familiar with that film, Bob Costas is interacting to a rabbit that's not there yet. So we're filming different actors that are reacting to people that aren't there yet. But if we were in alt space, then we could be there, and then we can not. <laughs> so basically, that's how we put it all together, those combining those different technologies. There's a couple of hurdles there and playing back a lot of video in real time and whatnot, but we have some really kind of phase tests that we'd love to show you. Um, I'll answer questions, I'll show you the crew list. I'm sure I forgot to go over something. Um, and that's pretty much it.